What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a review of 2020 Panini Zenith Football. First things first, we are using our face cam. I did say we would do that soon. And uh, for this this box here, we finally have it. So don't know how often I'll do it. I did promise I would do it though. So I uh, made true in that. And it's gonna be a lot of fun to see, I guess, my reactions or lack of reactions sometimes. But um, yeah, finally got it. And it's gonna be a lot of fun, hopefully. And uh, if we pull something big here, maybe we can see a nice reaction. Maybe if we pull something not so good, then I'll sit here and... Uh, yeah, sit here and cry by myself. But anyway, um, 2020 Zenith Football. This one released exclusively on Panini's online store. This one costs, I believe, uh, went from 600 down to 150 via Dutch auction. And you could buy anywhere in between there. I ended up buying it, I think, at the... It's like 206, something like that, that drop. And um, I also bought a case for group breaks. So stay tuned for that. I'll have those on the site if they're not live already. PacmanSportsCards.com. This has six cards. And the resale value is roughly $255. So I would say for three hits, you get three hits in this one. Um, brand new set. I'm really not too sure. It sounds like it's a solid rip, but we'll see from, from today's break. And of course, once we rip that whole case, we'll have a much better idea. For all you basketball guys, don't worry. Basketball is coming. And um, I think a bunch of products got pushed back to, uh, I think, the end of October. So it might be a while before we see some more basketball. We just had them pushed back from you know August to September, and then once again now. So unfortunate to see that, but that's how it is. Um, if you haven't already, 50,000 subscriber giveaway has been posted. It was my most recent video, and I actually showed my uh, face for the first time in a long time for that video. But uh, giveaway, I'm giving away a box of Contenders Optic 1920 hobby box, as well as um, if you want, you can kind of exchange it for something else. If we can work something out, that is. But easy giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Pac-Man Breaks, and um, on that video, like and comment your favorite card. All the information is there. I'll link it in the pinned comment as well as in the description. But enough talk, Zenith Football, definitely intriguing product. First of all, thanks to our fillers, always helping us out and um, providing a good old stand for our, I guess, little boxes here. We'll be using this guy to cut it open, our nice new Pac-Man blade. But yeah, so cool stuff overall. Haven't seen too much of it, but I'm definitely interested in seeing what we can pull. Um, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified every time I post. But um, yeah, see you in the football. This blade is, is fresh and sharp. It cuts real well. Not that old, crusty, blank one we had before. That one had to go. Uh, however, it's not gone. It's it's still, uh, <laughs> still part of the group break setup, I guess. So it's not gone, but in terms of here, we are fully upgraded. So nice little Pac-Man blade. Hopefully bringing the good luck. But here's Zenith. In the background, we got the gold Aaron Donald I pulled, as well as the um, the rugs. Now with the uh, the rugs and the Donald, those are both actually damaged cards. And you'll see me go like this a lot. I record on my phone, and in order to focus it, I have to do this. But both of those are damaged. We're hoping we're not getting some damaged cards today. Can happen. No promises. Donald on the front. But yeah, let's get into this box. One little pack. This is kind of the theme we've been getting recently from Panini products. Just one little pack. So six cards, 200 and I think 55 is how much you can get it for now. And once again, on Panini's site, it was, I think the lowest anyone got it for was like one, maybe like 160s, 180s. But yeah, anyway, let's uh, open up this pack. Pretty excited. First ever time we're seeing this product. Well, actually not first ever. It's kind of much older product, but in the modern, I guess, Collecting world is the first time we've seen it in a long, long time. Empty pack. All right. We'll use our little filler to slow roll it, as I always do. If you don't like that, you can always you know skip ahead, um, double speed, recap at the end, whatever you want. But anyway, let's check it out. So the cards, first thing I noticed is these look really cool. Um, Dante Culpepper, not, I want to say not numbered. I, yeah, not numbered. So, all right. I thought that'd be numbered, to be perfectly honest. It looks really, really sharp. I mean, you can see the kind of the little rainbow pattern, the foil. It moves really well. I, I think, like, for example, a prism card. I don't know if I, yeah, I don't have one next to me, but, you know, it's kind of um, just a very plain reflection back at you. This one has these little you know, lasers all across it. It's really nice. But the base, I did know would look really good. I saw some previews, and I was definitely impressed by the base cards, which, you know, for... Only six cards. I hope the base cards are nice. Next, we have Sony Michelle. Artist proof. This is numbered, uh, no, nine of ten. 
Always nice to get. Nice 9 of 10. I always get concerned when you get a short print non-hit because sometimes that's Panini's way of saying congrats and that's all you're getting. Um, many, many times that's been the case. So, But still, it's a nice card. I still love the way these kind of... the uh, reflection dances around the card. But card to 10. Have some pre-cut sleeves. I just cut the corner, cut the edge so that the card doesn't get caught on the corner here. All right, let's pull our... I think our back card should be... Yeah. Oh, nice. Jordan Love. Rookie. I'll take that. Not numbered again, but it looks really good. I don't know how Jordan Love will pan out. We'll see. I mean, uh, the Packers... I personally would have got Rodgers some, some more help. They decided to go with a, a quarterback, and if he's a good player, there'll be no regrets. Very nice card. I like that one. Getting a quarterback, always good. Getting a rookie from here, I imagine, isn't the easiest because you only get six cards, or a base rookie, that is. But I'll take that. We'll put that here, and now let's look at our actual hits. Nice. Love, love. Dalvin Cook. Theo oh, and, and Cousins. Three players. Team Summit. Kirk Cousins. Thielen and Dalvin Cook. One thing I'll say right now is I would absolutely love to see this pattern on some basketball cards. Obviously, we do football and basketball. Kind of leaning a little more towards more basketball. Basketball is my favorite, um, but, I mean, football is awesome too. And once again, more basketball is coming soon. I have some uh, fun stuff coming up. Might include Miss Pac-Man again in a video. If you guys want that, definitely drop a like. Sweet. There we go. Uh, I don't... We're going to do this one first. One's this one is much thicker, the bottom one, but we're going to do this one. Brendan Ayuk, 35 of, what's that, 50? And a lot of times you'll see me like kind of like looking over because sometimes if the reflection's not shining well on my phone, I'm like peering over. But um, yeah, 35 of 50. Brendan Ayuk, nice for the 49ers. It's a good card. Was he a I think he was a first round pick, maybe like the 20, mid 20s pick. I'll take that. And I have a sleeve cut. All right, failure to prepare is to prepare to fail. We are prepared. There we go. So there's the um the look and overall I think it's a pretty nice looking pretty nice looking card. The condition, I think I reverse jinxed myself. It looks really good. I think I just did the reverse jinx. See now that I say that, I'm gonna inspect it after and just find a big ol' ding. Alright. And finally, 6 of 25 Z graphs, and look how thick this is. Very thick card. Lance Briggs, 6 of 25. Nice. Wow, this is even thicker than the patch one, which makes no sense because there's no memorabilia on this card. And actually, I, hmm, I did fail to prepare. I didn't cut enough sleeves. I cut one extra thin sleeve. Yeah. Hmm. I literally was just talking about uh, <laughs> preparation and I myself. Man. Humble pie. Anyway, let's uh, sleeve this guy up. I completely forgot which corner I cut. Ah, guessed right. And there we go. I can't get enough of that reflection there. But let's uh, do a quick recap. So we have six cards. And actually, to be perfectly honest, I like this stuff. Sonny Michelle, 9 of 10. We got the Dante Culpepper. This is just a base one. And, I mean, just a base and it looks really nice. Now, the main differences I see between this one to 10 and this one that's not numbered at all would be uh, the foil here. Notice how this gold is kind of just a plain gold. If you can see that. And the one on the right is kind of like a hollow. But then we have the uh, Briggs to 25. The Ayuk to 50. The quad relic, uh, not quad relic, tri relic, I guess, triple relic of Vikings, Cousins, Thielen, and Cook, and then Jordan Love, rookie. I'll take it. Pretty solid overall. Um, I wouldn't say we hit a monster, but we actually got a pretty good box. I'll definitely take that, and I'll do it for this one. Overall, it it's very similar to Origins in terms of you know price point as well as number of cards you're getting, but I like these more. I think that the stock and the design is a little more premium feeling. And it's a good looking set. The um, origin set is good looking too, but this one I think just pops more. The design isn't much better and no damage. That's a plus. 
But yeah, I'll also have a case once again, 12 box case, uh, probably broken in group break format coming soon on PacmanSportsCards.com. If not already, check out the site down below. I think it arrives Monday or Tuesday, so we'll break then, but I may post it ahead of time. So that does it for this one. I'm actually going to go with this Jordan Love. Quarterbacks are everything in football, so um, having this rookie card could be good. And maybe I can just imagine there's an auto on there. But that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the face cam some more, drop a like. And um, definitely helps out the channel. Sub if you haven't already. Once again, 50k giveaway is live. It's the most recent video. I'll link it in the description as well as in the uh, pinned comment. So check that out and get yourself, you know, up to like $400 in free, free cards. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.